Hey guys, welcome back. It's Nick the Booksmith and on we forge. This will be part nine and I, I don't have a ton of time today because I'm trying to get my supply closet storage put back together. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I bought um, the world's ugliest dresser. And um, so it's halfway finished. I got to put the uh, cabinet, the drawer pulls on it and get that all situated and get it, get everything like off the floor and all over everything back and put back together because it makes me crazy. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to work on, remember we did this guy, uh, last time this side of the fold out so I was going to work on on this page today and it has several pieces on it um, so I'm just gonna do this one so what I kind of want to do I collected some vintagey looking things well they are vintagey and um, oh and sorry about I have some blisters on my fingers because I was outside trimming um, a tree, well, a couple of them, without gloves. So before I knew it, I had blisters. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to create several little elements that fold out in different directions. So these are from Michelle and these are wonderful big uh, like index cards, big, big index cards. And so I wanted to put these together and um, it is going to go in a vertical direction like this and it will flip up and out of the way. And then I've got these two things and this is a lovely little envelope from Carol and I want it, I'm gonna use the flap of the envelope to to open it maybe somehow in this direction, perhaps. And then this one, um, I'm going to, it's gonna fold out in, in this direction. That sound, that sound good, bueno? Okay, so what I'm going to do is this one, scoot this out of the way. Um, when it flips up in this direction, well, Hold on. Yeah, when it flips up in this direction, I'm going to do one of those things that we did um, here. One, one of one of one of these things. So this needs to have one of these things, but this time I'm just going to make a a. Um, a square. I don't know if I'm going to get all fancy with curved corners and and stuff. About right there. So I hope everybody is doing okay. I am feeling a little bit better. Um, so I feel like I have some more energy and so that's good. That's that's excellent. Of course now I'm losing everything. Well, that's that's normal. There we go. I'm going to slice this down in the width and then as far as the height goes I think I just want to do an inch and I have a freebie for you guys today I think you'll like it in anticipation for our mini book um, session our mini book and bookcase session let me grab hold on it's like I could not, I just can't not do it. It's like it has to be done because the other one's done. Some days you can let go of the OCD and some days it has hold of you. Okay, so I'm going to kind of mark this with a pencil. And um, I had no idea what I was doing today up until about 10 minutes ago. So 
this may or may not go very smoothly. So here's my crocodile. And I'm going to set this about, I think, in that kind of vicinity. And of course, it, oh, it must be inked today. Today it must be inked. Glue. And I'm just going to put this around the outside edge here. And I'm going to put it, I don't know, a third of the way down. And try to get it quasi level like that. And then remember that we did the whole little pocket pocket thing. So I will need a piece of paper or an envelope. This will have to work. There. This will be, this will be just fine. And I'm going to cut the top off. And I'm going to glue this on the back side when I get this cut out. It's going to get glued on the back side to make a little pocket to hold everything in. So let, let's punch some holes. I'm going to use the 1 8 And that makes our little, our little guide a little guidelines. And I'm going to turn it around. Woohoo! Not real straight. There we go. And then to the back of this we will add this little this little envelope like that now we have our little our little pocket in there. And then this will go on this like so. And I think, I think I wanna sew these together. But there's a cat in my sewing chair, so. <laughs> so maybe that won't happen. She's like everywhere. She's everywhere. She's like MasterCard. Where is, or is that Visa? Maybe it's Visa. It's everywhere you want to be. That's my cat and Visa. So I'm just going to glue these together because apparently my cat is in my spot. So I'm going to glue the little envelope down to the inside and then I will put some glue around the edge here and just a little bit in here. Try to match these up as best as I can. And now we have a cute little pocket. So that will be flipping up in no nope, this direction, I think. Unless I decide to do it like this direction. I don't I don't know. Okay. Then this one, 
I'm going to be flipping it in this direction. So I want to cut this out just a little deeper because I think it would be difficult to get things uh, tucked in and out without having a little bit more of an opening. So we always stash all kinds of things, right? Like people will send you things or maybe you'll get just something in the mail from a company but it's like a neat envelope, right? And we save it. Well, there's no reason not to get all those things out and adapt them for you know, another purpose. It's okay to snip and alter and tailor. Get everything kind of situated the way you want you want it to and I mean no sense using brand new paper when you've got you know you have paper right so this will now flip in this direction and then we'll have room to put that in there and this little flap over here is kind of loose so I'm going to give it just a little bit of glue so that we can tuck that down like that And then I also wanted to stuff that down. Let's see if I can find. I like this one. It needs trimmed. Oh, I bit the inside of my cheek. Have you ever done that? Oh my goodness. And then it hurts for days. And this will get trimmed down this direction. And straightened up a little bit because it's catty wampus over here. Because I like I like how it kind of it's kind of the same color tones a little bit. And do we want a thumb hole? I don't know. Probably should. Probably. Maybe a little bit of ink, just to say we did. I think one of these lap books would be great too if you're going to go on a trip, especially with a little kid, and um, or maybe a few little kids. Wouldn't that be fun to um, get get enough enough? you know, books or, you know, you can make these from chipboard. You don't even have to use books if you don't want to. But, I mean, encyclopedias are going in the trash all the time because of obsolete information. So, you know, if you can score yourself a few and you could make a, a lap book for each kid so that they will have like a little interactive fun thing to do in the car if you're going on a road trip. I think that would be, I think that'd be a lot of fun. And then each lap book could be filled up with whatever interests that particular kiddo. And um, could be dinosaurs or princesses or horses or <laughs> dirt bikes or I mean, whatever it is, doesn't matter could fill it up with all sorts of fun things for them to do on their trip. And if they get to put the stuff in, it's kind of like when you have a kid help you cook dinner. They want to eat it, usually. Sometimes that backfires. <laughs> but usually, you can get a picky kid to eat if they've helped cooked, cook the dinner. So kind of the same thing with, you know, kids can be wow on field trips, right? I mean, y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to fold this in half. And, you know, maybe you don't want your, your kids like on a device the whole time, right? You know, who wants to have their kids on a device the whole time? 
Let's see. I want to get them interested in. Now I've got this all back backwards. <laughs> um, you know, you want to get them interested in all kinds of things other than, you know, an iPad or a Nintendo Switch or whatever it is that whatever them kids are doing these days. <laughs> I'm going to glue this together um, and just do a big um, thumb hole thingy my bobbers down here. As a kid, I mean, when I was, you know, when road trip age, right? Back in the, ooh, now I'm aging myself, right? So, I was a little kid in the 70s. Um, so, I, I remember, well, my first memory, I was, I was 18 months old on my first memory, but, you know, those memories are kind of, they're dreamlike, very surreal. Um, but my first road trip, I remembered when I was about two, and we were moving across country, uh, and I was with my grandmother, my maternal grandmother, Virginia. Well, both of my grandmothers were named Virginia, so, <laughs> um, some of you already know that. But I was with my grandma, Virginia, this, that one, not the other one, and, um, we were in a 19... 71 dark green Impala and I remember I remember that it was dark green um, because when you're two you don't really know that it's a 1971 Impala but I like cars and I've always been a car girl and so I knew later because I wanted that 1971 Impala not as much as I wanted the 1972 Monte Carlo but the Impala was pretty cool too. But I remember grandma was driving and there was a big, huge honking TV set in the back seat. And I was in the front seat with her. You know, there weren't, um, it was 1970, 75. And you know, the, the laws on seat belts were very, you know, very lax. You know, we ran with scissors and we didn't wear seat belts and we stayed out late and we went swimming only 20 minutes after we ate. You know, all those things that, you know, we should be dead, right? I survived the 70s. That should be, should make t-shirts. Um, but I remember standing up in the front of the Impala watching the world go by and my grandma would sing songs to me because, you know, I was, you know, a toddler. I was just a little tight. And um, that is my first road trip memory. I don't know if I would have, I don't know if I would have used a lap book at that age. Maybe. I don't know if I would have sat still long enough. The squirrels were rampant even then. Even then were the squirrels running amok. Uh, what is your first road trip memory? Let me know. I am... Did you go on road trips? See, that was the thing with us. Um, we never went on a plane anywhere. That wasn't, you know, we just didn't do that. I wish we had. I don't, I don't know why we... Let me scoot back a little bit here so you can kind of see what's going on. Um... I don't know. My dad doesn't really like to fly. He's not afraid of flying. Um, I think he just likes to have a vehicle when he gets to where he's going. <laughs> it's a guy thing. I'm like, no, I ain't nobody got time for that. Put me on a plane. I want to be there in two hours, not two days. Because, mm-mm, mm-mm-mm, takes too long. And be like, shoot me now. Um, but yeah, my dad likes to. My dad likes to drive. So that's probably, I'm guessing, why. Oh, look, this is too long. You see how this is too long? I'm going to have to um, shorten up the world here. 
Let me just fold in the flap down here a little bit more. Let's see if that, aha, that is better. There we go. Um, so yeah, I never really, I didn't go on a plane until I was, oh my goodness, like 18, 18 or so. And you can see, and this is how, you know, you gotta, do you wanna line things up? Do you wanna be all haphazard and weird? Um, I like weird, so y'all know that. I'm going to, where's my, going to, uh, see, this is what I'm deciding on. And, and y'all, just start yelling. I think I want this, I think I want this facing out because I really like this element facing out because if I face it this way, I'm gonna have to do something here anyway. So I really like this facing out. I wanna see all the chunk. I wanna see all the, the business going on, all the business. So I'm going to knock the corners off the bottom. I really should plan these things out better so that, you know, I'm not like hemming and hawing in front of the camera. But this is, this is reality. This is what I do to myself every day. You should have seen me at the thrift store trying to choose a dresser. And the reason we ended up with, you know, scary, ugly dresser is because it was the correct size. There were several others that were so much nicer. And they weren't that, I mean, the dresser I got was 38 bucks, um, which I probably could have found one for 10 on Craigslist. But here's the thing, you gotta go to somebody's house to get it. And if I'm, like with somebody that's fine but i'm not gonna go to somebody's house by myself to go check out a dresser you know you know that's just not that's just not not a good idea for me i just don't think that's a very good idea um so in lieu of you know going to somebody's house and never being seen again i decided to pay 38 dollars for the ugly dresser um but it's the right size and it's not quite so ugly anymore. I should be able to finish it up um, today. I got the hardware in, so I gotta put the hardware on so that you know you can open the drawers. That would be good. And so I will get that done and then hopefully get everything put away and so I can show it to you guys, hopefully tomorrow. If not tomorrow, definitely on Thursday because today is Tuesday, Tuesday. All right, we can still do something fun and funky underneath here. That will, that will definitely happen, the fun and the funky. And this is kind of a waxed paper, kind of a, I'll have to ask Carol what this is made out of. It's super cool though, it was, she sent me a package and just look at, but it's got like a little bit of a sheen to it. Like it's got, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'll have to ask her. Okay. Let me, let me, that's the bad thing about the sponges with the, with the ink. The little bits get everywhere. Spreading your bits around. That sounds nasty. Okay. So you know what? I'm just gonna start, just, just just gonna do this. I'm going to get maybe some washi tape. Do we want washi tape today? I've got this lovely, um, the little, the little library cards that we didn't use last time. And that might be cute. It might be cute. Cause you know, that's what we're aiming for. We're aiming for cute. Sorry, my camera, the battery. Well, it, it can only um, film for like 27 minutes and then it shuts off. It like comes to the end of its rope. It's like, I can't stand listening to you anymore. So then I have to, then I have to restart it. So I'm just gonna set this just so that it 
peeks up the top because I'd like to line this up somewhat with the top of that page. Just, I want to zoom back in. You want to see what we're doing here? You know, whatever. I have my ugly, I don't like this bone folder. This is the plastic one that came with the uh, Martha Stewart scoreboard. I'm not real jazzed about it. I have a real bone folder, but you know, who knows where it is? Who knows? And then if we want to get crazy, we could do a few more under here just to kind of seal the deal here. I don't want to cover up too much of this super cool uh, graphic that's on this page. And I just got it all rip ripply. Smooth neck, smooth. But you don't want it too tight, the, the tape, because then your, um, your element won't be able to open and close. So I wanted to leave a little bit of a gap um, so that this moves freely. So then this will flip up. And then next, I think I want, this is going to go on the bottom down here. And like this. And let's get some more washi tape. And I don't think this one, I don't think this one is on any of the digital kits yet. It's a pretty cool like Art Nouveau. Um, I think they are, there's some kind of lily. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fold this in half. I'm just going to split the difference here. Like that. How scientific was that? Now I got to trim that up because that'll bug me. And I'm going to see that line right there. I'm going to kind of, going to kind of line it up with that little little line, just like that. And then this will get placed right at the edge of this page right here and that will flip out like this can you guys hear that train i don't know if you can hear that on the i don't know if you guys can hear that or not i don't live close to the train tracks or anything it's just man they're loud I live on the wrong side of the tracks. I don't know about y'all. So this needs to be about... There. And kind of fold that up. And so here is this little element right like this. And then we have this one. And I think it's going to float over the top of that one. But this one is going to get cut down. Because we don't need all this. my computer making noises at me. Okay. So this goes like this and then this one will probably kind of hang out over because I want it to look, I want it to look, I don't know. I don't know how I want it to look. <laughs> I want it to look cool, but kind of haphazardly cool. 
not too even, you know. I don't want to be too even. So, next, should we use some more of the little uh, foxes and peacocks and bunnies? Does that sound like a plan? Probably don't need to use washi tape this wide. I could probably use some narrower stuff. I think this video is going to be longer than I anticipated. Most of them are like that, but... So I'm just going to place this carefully. Not so carefully. Like that. And where were we? <laughs> there we go. You know what? I am going to, I should have made that longer. I should have made it more like that to hold because it's not see how it's not holding these little flaps down my bad so we are going to extendify that's a technical term that and then let's see where did we cut off his little body at okay There we go. Now that'll hold it yeah, much, much better. Much better, Nick. Okay. So then we've got this where, you know, a tag or something can go in there. And then who knows? Who knows? Here I am. Let me back out again. Something, something may go here. I'm just not real sure yet. And then we've got this little double envelope here. And then we have this one here and then who knows who knows what's going to go here i kind of like this graphic and i really didn't want to cover it up but maybe we'll put some kind of um maybe some washi tape and a piece of paper that could be removed you know just a little journaling spot or something i don't know we'll think about it I'll think about it so that is going to be that for today because i need to clean up my mess that I have going on here. And I will consider what to do on this last part of our fold out. And so that will be part 10. Still love this graphic, so don't want to cover it up. I don't know, I don't know, think about it. Okay, so the freebie is, I gotta dig out the freebie here. I haven't glued these together, but I made some little itty bitty dinky tiny envelopes. So I need to glue these together. So aren't they cute? So on this side, it's just, you know, that's where you close it up. But then, oh, sorry. but then on this side, see it's got a little, a little tag for um, who it's going to and then a little name where it came from. Cute, right? So there are six of the little um, like red rose ones and then I made four that are like little um, like coin envelope size and they are also a floral but like a taupey like a neutral floral. They have a little airmail stamp on the front. So I thought those would fit in your little mini books. You know, just in case you wanted to, you know, have an, an envelope sticking out of one of your little mini books. Or maybe when you make your your little tiny bookcase, you want to have some, you know, some correspondence sitting alongside your little books. But anyway, that this will be at Flickr. <laughs> it's just a fun, frivolous, non-essential, impractical thing like I'm good at, so... So enjoy. I will be back soon, like I said, to show you the um, ugly dressing, dresser makeover. 
and because um, you too can buy an ugly dresser and make it not so ugly. And then we will move along and we will work on getting this lap book all finished. Um, we just have this, this last element after we finish that side. We just have this last piece to do. And then we can decide on, you know what, I don't think I'm going to do anything to these. I, I just don't I, don't, I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to. That may change. And I think that's what's great about lap books is you can always add to them you know, whenever you want, you know? So if it had a wider spine, I probably would add something here, but I don't want to make it so bulky that it doesn't close up like a regular book. And see, I still have some room because um, it's still thinner over here than it is over here. So I still have some room, but I just don't want to make it too like, you know, alligator mouth or anything. So that would not be cool, man. That would not be cool. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's the plan. That's the thought as of, as of now, cause we still, I'm still going to put some kind of folder or notebook here in the middle too. So, you know, there's a lot going on, a lot going on. All right, kids. I hope everybody has a great evening or morning or afternoon, wherever you are. And, um, I will catch you all really, really soon in the next video. Bye guys.